If you're up for some extraordinary experiences like fixing up your body, opening new doors you never thought possible, and diving into some really amazing moments, you've got to start by mastering the whole living in the now thing. People talk about it a lot, being present and all. Most folks get the gist, don't dwell on tomorrow or yesterday. But I'm here to flip that understanding on its head. To really grasp this idea, you've got to go beyond your physical self, your identity, and even time itself. That's where the magic happens. Because let's face it, if you're stuck in who you think you are and how you think the world ticks, you're not going to make room for something new and mystical to take charge. So, let's talk brains. When your brain or body gets going, it sets your mind in motion. Think of it like different gears for different tasks, driving, showering, jamming out to tunes, each with its own brain mode. And because you've done these things a gazillion times, your brain knows the drill. It's like a bunch of neurons throwing a party together, wired up tight from all that practice. So when you hop in your car, for instance, it's like flipping a switch for that specific brain groove. But your brain's mostly a creature of habit, shaped by your past experiences. It's like a living scrapbook of everything you've seen and done so far. Before we start and before you learn how to brainwash yourself for success, please subscribe to my beautiful channel and never miss our new life-changing videos. Let's break it down from a whole new angle. Picture this. Your brain's like a bustling city with neurons as the busy citizens. When you're learning, these neurons team up to create a bunch of connections, kind of like building roads between different parts of the city. And these connections? They form these intricate networks, almost like a 3D blueprint of the city. Now when you're really paying attention and something clicks, it's like your brain gets a software update. Your brain's basically saying, hey, this info's important. And it starts writing down notes, making memories. Each new experience adds more detail to the story, and more neurons come together to enrich those connections, like adding extra lanes to the roads. And here's where it gets interesting. Emotions are like the city's vibe shaped by past experiences. The stronger the vibe, the more it sticks in your memory. So, when something really gets your heart racing, good or bad, it's like leaving a big old mark on the city map of your brain. Now, most of these experiences come from interacting with the world around you. Your senses are like the city's antennas, picking up signals from the environment and writing them into the brain's diary. So when something really hits you in the feels, it's like etching that moment into the city's skyline, making it a part of your mental landscape. The only place the past really lives is in your brain and body. Your past experiences shape your future, like laying down tracks for where you're headed. So every time you think a thought or feel an emotion, it's like sending out chemical messengers, turning those abstract ideas into tangible reality. Now what's following next will blow your mind. Think of your brain as a control center and your body as its trusty sidekick. When you think a thought, your brain sends out chemical signals that make your body feel exactly the way you're thinking. It's like a feedback loop. You think a fearful thought, you start to feel fear, which leads to more fearful thoughts, and so on. Now here's where it gets interesting. If you keep thinking the same thoughts, you're basically programming your brain to keep firing in the same patterns. Your brain becomes like an old record stuck on repeat, playing the same tunes over and over. And because emotions are the body's way of speaking its mind, those same thoughts trigger the same feelings, keeping you stuck in the past. So when you wake up and start your day, you're already diving into familiar territory. You check your socials, your messages, the news. It's like hitting play on your personal soundtrack of the past. Let's be honest. I want you to be honest to yourself, and the world, and to admit to yourself, what's your worst habit that you want to change when you wake up in the morning? Think carefully and share it in the comment below. I assure you it's not so different than the habits of other people. All it takes to change is a little discipline. So write down the habit you don't like and compare it to others. And if those familiar feelings start driving your decisions and actions, well, you're just playing out the same old script. But you can rewrite that script. By choosing to think differently, you can break free from the cycle and create new experiences for yourself. It's like flipping the record and starting a whole new groove. 
So next time you catch yourself in that loop, remember, you hold the pen to your story. Picture this, you wake up and start your day by diving into your usual routine. You brush your teeth, hop in the shower, get dressed, then head for the kitchen for your morning fix. Maybe you catch up on the news or scroll through your emails. It's all part of the same old song and dance you do every day. Next stop, work. You take the same route, greet the same faces, and tackle the same tasks as yesterday. It's like hitting replay on a movie you've seen a million times. And when the day's done, you drive home, pick up groceries, cook dinner, and settle in for your evening ritual. Same food, same show, same spot on the couch. As you wind down for bed, you follow the same bedtime routine, almost like clockwork. Brush your teeth, crawl into bed, maybe read a bit, then drift off to sleep. It's all become second nature, like your body's on autopilot. But all these routines, these habits, they're like grooves worn into a record. Your body knows them inside and out, almost better than your brain. And when you keep repeating them, day in and day out, you're essentially living in the past, replaying the same script over and over. So, if you look at the timeline of your day, it's like yesterday and today blur together into tomorrow. Your future starts to look a lot like your past, because, let's be real, if you keep doing the same thing, you're bound to get the same results. It's like Groundhog Day, but without the funny bits. Brace yourself because you're about to learn how to brainwash yourself. Let's flip the script on your routine. Your yesterday, it's shaping your tomorrow. Your mind and body are pretty much on autopilot, cruising towards the same old future based on what you've been up to in the past. And in this familiar future, there's no space for surprises. If something new were to shake things up, you'd probably find it annoying, right? It's like, can this wait until tomorrow? Not now, please. And your habits? They're like your body's built-in programs, running the show without you even realizing it. Your body's basically saying, I got this, and steering you towards the same old path. So if you're not living in the moment, chances are you're stuck in a loop. But here's the thing about the unknown. It's, well, unknown. It's unpredictable, sure, but it's also kind of exciting. It's like a surprise party you didn't see coming. So, how much room do you have in your routine for the unexpected? By sticking to the same old routine, you're basically hitting replay on your life. Same thoughts, same choices, same habits. And the more you do it, the easier it gets, until it's almost second nature. If you can predict how you'll feel in any given situation, you're still living in the known. Like thinking about a meeting with your usual crew, you can already imagine how it'll feel because you've been there, done that. And if you can predict the feeling, well, you're just setting the stage for more of the same. You've got a point there and it's because you're, well, you. If you're stuck on autopilot and can't predict how something's gonna feel, you'll likely hesitate to dive in. But let's zoom out a bit to see the bigger picture of what's going on when you're stuck in the same old groove. This whole thinking feeling loop, it's not just in your head. It actually creates this electromagnetic field around your body. You're basically emitting vibes that carry a specific message. And guess what? You're also picking up vibes from others. It's like a cosmic exchange of energy. So here's the breakdown. When you think a thought, your brain fires up, sending out electrical charges. And if that thought triggers a feeling, well, now you've got some magnetic charges in the mix too. These electric and magnetic vibes come together to form this electromagnetic field that's unique to you. Think of emotions as energy on the move. Ever walked into a room and instantly felt someone's vibe? That's their energy at work. And different vibes carry different frequencies. Like love and joy, they're up there, while stress vibes like fear and anger, not so much. And here's where it gets interesting, because energy is all about frequency and frequency carries info, your vibes are basically broadcasting your past. So if you're stuck in the same loop, sending out the same vibes, guess what? You're just gonna keep attracting the same stuff. But here's the kicker, you can change your vibe. By changing up your energy, you're basically rewriting your future. So if you're tired of the same old story, it's time to switch up the tune and start broadcasting some new vibes. If you like this information so far, please tap that like button, 
and help us reach more people. Thank you. Here's the deal. If you want to switch up your vibe, you got to switch up your thoughts and feelings. It's like this. Wherever your attention goes, your energy flows. So, if you're stuck in memories and familiar feelings, you're basically draining your energy into the past instead of living in the now. Same goes for focusing on your to-do list and routine. If you're always thinking about what's next, you're not really living in the moment. You're just fast-forwarding to a future you've already mapped out. When you dwell on familiar emotions tied to past events, you're basically time-traveling back to those moments. And if you're constantly thinking about your daily grind, you're just fast-tracking to the same old routine. Now picture this. Your energy is like a GPS guiding you through life. If you're constantly tuned into the same old channels, you're just going to keep rerouting to the same destinations. Your body's basically on autopilot, following the same mental roadmap you've been driving for years. But here's where it gets interesting. You can change the route. You've got the power to steer your energy towards the unknown. It's all about shifting your focus and vibes. And yeah, it might sound wild, but it's totally doable. Think about it. If you've been cruising through the same old routine every morning, your body's just used to following the same old cues. But if you start directing your attention towards new possibilities, your body will start tagging along for the ride. It's like setting off on a new adventure, one thought at a time.